The year is 1985, a time when Ireland is on the cusp of transformation. Ireland, a country steeped in tradition and religion, holds tightly to its customs and values. Yet, it finds itself grappling with social change and unspoken secrets as the winds of modernity begin to blow. In a small town where everyone knows their neighbour's business, life appears simple and predictable. Bill Furlong, a hard-working coal delivery man, goes about his days delivering coal to the townsfolk. Christmas is approaching, and the air is thick with anticipation and festive cheer. Yet, beneath the surface of normalcy lies a current of unease, a sense that not all is as it seems. Bill's deliveries take him to the local convent, a place shrouded in solemnity and whispers, where the nuns live in quiet contemplation. It is here, within the convent's ancient walls, that Bill stumbles upon a discovery that will shake his world to its core. A discovery that unveils a dark undercurrent to the festive cheer, casting a shadow over the holiday season. A discovery that forces him to confront the truths that many would rather keep hidden, challenging the very fabric of the community. Bill Furlong, portrayed with stoic sensitivity by Cillian Murphy, is an ordinary man living in extraordinary times. His life is a testament to the quiet resilience and strength that often goes unnoticed in the face of adversity. He is a hard-working coal merchant, dedicated to his trade and known for his reliability and honesty in a time when such virtues were often overshadowed by the harsh realities of life. A father to five daughters and a devoted husband, Bill's home is his sanctuary. He finds solace in the simple moments shared with his family, whether it's a quiet dinner or a walk through the countryside. He navigates the complexities of life with a quiet strength, always putting his family first. His actions speak louder than words, embodying the essence of a man who values integrity and love above all else. But Bill is not immune to the moral dilemmas that plague his community. He sees the hypocrisy, the judgment, and the fear that permeate the social fabric, often feeling the weight of these societal pressures. The fear and tension are palpable, creating an environment where silence often speaks louder than words. Bill's keen observations make him acutely aware of the underlying currents of discontent and unease. The discovery at the convent weighs heavily on his mind, forcing him to question everything he thought he knew about his town, his country and himself. This revelation becomes a turning point, challenging his beliefs and his sense of justice. Bill's journey is one of quiet introspection, a path that leads him to confront uncomfortable truths. His internal struggle is a testament to his inherent goodness and his desire to do what is right, even when it is difficult. A struggle to reconcile his inherent goodness with the uncomfortable truths that surround him. In the end, Bill's story is a poignant reminder of the power of conscience and the enduring strength of the human spirit in the face of moral adversity. Ireland in the 1980s was a country in transition. The influence of the Catholic Church, once absolute, was beginning to wane. Yet its grip on social mores remained strong. The country was still reeling from the Kerry Babies scandal, a stark reminder of the societal condemnation faced by unwed mothers. Moving statues, believed to have miraculous powers, drew massive crowds, highlighting the enduring power of faith and superstition. The lack of access to abortion and divorce further underscored the church's control over personal freedoms. In this climate of secrecy and shame, Bill's discovery at the convent becomes a catalyst for deeper examination. It forces viewers to confront the hidden realities that many preferred to ignore. The Magdalene Laundries, institutions shrouded in secrecy, 
cast a long shadow over Ireland's past. Run by Catholic nuns, these laundries were presented as places of refuge for fallen women. In reality, they became prisons for unmarried mothers, victims of abuse and other women deemed undesirable by society. Inside the laundries, women endured horrific conditions, subjected to forced labour, emotional abuse and the unbearable pain of having their children taken away. The film, Small Things Like These, delicately touches upon this dark chapter of Irish history, revealing the human cost of silence and societal condemnation. Section 5. Cillian Murphy. Breathing life into Bill Furlong's moral dilemma. Cillian Murphy, known for his captivating performances, brings a quiet intensity to the role of Bill Furlong. He embodies the character's internal conflict with nuance and authenticity, conveying a range of emotions through subtle expressions and gestures. In interviews, Murphy has spoken about the film's historical significance, emphasizing the importance of shedding light on the hidden truths of Ireland's past. He recognizes the responsibility of portraying such a sensitive story with respect and accuracy, ensuring that the voices of the marginalized are heard. Section 6. Eileen Walsh. A Mother's Plea for Understanding and Dialogue. Eileen Walsh, who plays the role of Mrs. Keogh in the film, has also reflected on the film's potential to spark important conversations. Mrs. Keogh, a complex character with her own unspoken burdens, represents the hypocrisy and judgment that permeated Irish society at the time. Walsh hopes that the film will encourage viewers to confront these uncomfortable truths and engage in meaningful dialogue about the past. She believes that understanding the mistakes of the past is crucial to building a more just and compassionate future. Section 7. A Changed Ireland. Reflecting on progress and the scars of the past. Ireland today is a vastly different place from the country depicted in small things like these. The transformation over the past few decades has been profound, touching every aspect of life. The Catholic Church's influence has diminished significantly, and social progress has led to greater freedoms and equality. The once dominant institution now plays a much smaller role in the daily lives of many Irish people. Divorce and abortion have been legalised and same-sex marriage was approved by popular vote in 2015. These changes reflect a society that has embraced modern values and human rights. However, the scars of the past run deep. The memories of struggles and injustices linger, reminding us of the long road to progress. The Magdalene Laundries finally closed their doors in 1996, the last one standing as a stark reminder of a shameful chapter in Irish history. These institutions were places of suffering for many women, who endured harsh conditions and forced labour. The fight for justice for the survivors continues, with many still seeking recognition and reparations for the abuse they suffered. Their stories are a testament to resilience and the ongoing quest for justice and healing in modern Ireland. Section 8. Small Acts, Big Impacts. The Enduring Power of Individual Choice. At its core, small things like these is a story about the power of individual choice in the face of injustice. Bill Furlong, an ordinary man caught in extraordinary circumstances, is forced to make a decision that will have profound consequences. His journey reminds us that even small acts of kindness and courage can make a difference. It highlights the importance of speaking out against wrongdoing even when it is uncomfortable or unpopular to do so. 
Section 9. Small things like these. A story for our time. A mirror to the past. Small things like these is more than just a historical drama. It is a timeless story about morality, compassion, and the human capacity for both good and evil. While set in 1980s Ireland, its themes resonate deeply with contemporary audiences, prompting reflection on the injustices that persist in our own time. The film serves as a reminder that we must never forget the past, for its lessons are essential in shaping a more just and equitable future. It encourages viewers to examine their own biases, confront uncomfortable truths, and strive to be a force for positive change in their own communities.